Okay, now we're going to solve exponential equations using logarithms. So first of all, um, let's just remember that a base with an exponent equal to an answer can be written in logarithmic form as log, same base, uh, but instead in here we have our answer is equal to the exponent. Okay, now this helps us to get the to solve the exponent. So if the exponent was an unknown, so let's say 2 to the power of x is equal to 10, then we can use this logarithm to solve the exponent. So I can now say, well, log of base 2 with answer x is equal, sorry, answer 10 is equal to x and there we go now I have a way to solve x now how am I going to do this now there is a law that we'll look at a later stage why that law is true but for now you can simply um, know that to calculate this using a standard calculator I can just take log which is a, a function on most or actually all scientific calculators log 10 divided by log 2. That will give me this result, this answer. Log 10 divided by log 2. So remember if there's no base, there's actually a base 10. If nothing is written, it's actually a base 10. And there is just a law that says that we can change the base, that's a base 2, into any base using this format. So I can change that to any base that I want to. We just choose 10 because most scientific calculators only have log 10. Although the newest ones do have a function like that, a log block or block, and you can just go and substitute in or type in the correct thing. But now you know this is how my calculator works. I'll need to use this method. So let's look at what is the answer x is equal to, okay, there we go, um, we see it's 10, 10 log divided by 2 log, there we go, log 10 divided by log 2 gives me 3,3219, I'm going to say 3,32, 3, three and since I am rounding, let's just use this approximate sign 3,32 that means 2 to the power of 3,32 should give me 10 let's see 2 to the power of 3.32 gives me 9.98 oh, if I round this I'll get as close to 10 as um, two decimal places cool let's look at some more challenging ones Okay, in this example, we can see things are a little bit messed up. For one, this is not 27, this is 2 times 7. And the whole idea is to get a base exponent equal to an answer. And once I have this, I can just use my logarithms. So, all I'm going to do is divide with the 2 on both sides so that I can have a base and exponent this on its own. So my first step is to solve the power. Okay, so the power is the base and the exponent together. That's called a power. So on this side it cancels that side I now get 7x is equal to 2. And now I can just go ahead and say well that means log base 7 answer 2 is equal to x and to solve it, I can use my calculator log 2 over log 7. Cool. Let's calculate that. 2 log divided by 7 log gives me an approximate answer of 0, 0,35. 36 if I round. Gives me a approximate answer of 0, 0,36. I round two decimal places. 
Let's try one more. Okay, let's try this one. And this one, I'm going to have to solve the power. What did I say? The power is the base and the exponent together. There we go. That's the power. I need to solve that one. In other words, get it on its own. So first, I'm going to just get rid of the negative 1. So I'm going to add a 1 on both sides to get 9 times 3x plus 4 is equal to 11. And now I'm going to have to divide with a 9 on both sides to give me 3x plus 4 is equal to 11 over 9. You don't have to simplify that in here. Only in our final step. And now I've got a base and exponent equal to an answer. So I can use my logs. My log saying that log of base 3 gives me an answer of 11 over 9 if I have 3 to the power of x plus 4. So x is equal to this thing can be written as log of 11 over 9 divided by log of 3 and what happened to that 4? Well I'm just going to subtract the 4 on both sides so minus 4 minus 4 so that I have on this side it cancels out so that my x is on its own and on that side I just have negative 4 okay use my calculator 11 over 9 gives me 1 comma 2 2 2 2 2 take a log of that divided by 3 log so that gives me an answer of 0 comma 1 8 2 and from that I'm just gonna subtract a 4 as well so this time my answer is negative I get negative 3 comma 8 2 so approximately negative 3 comma 82 there we go not too bad one more one and then we're done okay so we want to get the base and the exponent on its own now it's good that you concentrate very nicely because this is a format of something you're going to do a little bit later on Okay, so I want to get that 1,8 to the power of n on its own, which means I'm going to have to multiply both with a 0, 0,08. Both sides with a 0, 0,08. Okay, and I'm going to have to divide both sides with 1,000. So divide both sides with 1,000. That's just going to cancel three of the zeros. So I've got 30 times 0, 0,08. On this side it cancelled completely, so now I'm left with 1,08 to the power of n minus 1 is equal to, and on this side what do I get? Uh, 2,4. Now all we need to do is get rid of the negative 1, so we're going to add it on both sides, add it on this side, add it on that side, so that I have 1, 0, 08 to the power of n must equal 3,4. Cool. Use our logs. So log of 1,08, that's the base, gives me an answer of 3,4 is equal to, and now that's equal to n. So what would n be equal to? Well, n would be equal to log of 3 comma 4 divided by log of 1 comma 8. Which gives me an answer of 3.4 log divided by 1 point, oops, sorry, not 8, 0, 8. 0, 8 1.08 log and that gives us an answer of 15.9 okay so in other words approximately 15 comma 9 there we go
Okay, I've done almost all of the types of ones you should get in the upcoming year. So um, I think it's your turn to try.